guy, right? What? You're the guy, right? Are you that guy? I know you, you're that guy, aren't you? It has been many years since we have seen any sort of sequel or continuation to the story within Twisters. Back in 1996, we were introduced to the lives of storm chasers in a brilliant way. I told you. Although this film isn't a direct sequel, it is its own standalone. And as we went through the making of the film and the CGI effects of the tornadoes, even though they shot it in Alabama, we wanted to look at the other side at the more funnier side of things. <laughs> wow. Being wow. an action star is so hard. <laughs> Isaac, I didn't know you had you. <laughs> Thank you. Cut, cut. Shot. Go to get, please. But before we get into more of these moments, today's trivia question. What was Glenn Powell's first film role? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around till the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna beat that. That's, 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 <laughs> it's a perfect line. Holy cow. Holy this shot. is an utter disaster. Oh, oh wow. This Come is on. an utter disaster. Come on. Oh, my Let's go. Yo. Wait, I thought you were gonna high five I'm me. I'm dead, so bro. I should have slapped the top. Now, I, I, got milk. Oh. oh. What about no. move yeah. out the way? <laughs> move. Move, Move over! The way. Everyone was real excited to be involved in this project, including the main cast, along with the real Storm Chasers, Extras. Powell revealed that when they weren't shooting, he was off doing some real Storm Chasing at times. I saw this on Discovery Channel one time. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have a rule question. I keep that. adjusting myself. Am I gonna get hate? No. Are you but meant to Brandon not? Will get oh, can cheated. you not? <laughs> Are you meant to not move the hand once it's on? But you're you're live in 4K right now. If you're cheating, you're getting caught. All right. I'm hidden behind. I'm hidden inside of you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's clear that the cast is pretty close, especially when Daisy and Anthony made a secret handshake. Can we redo it? Do I don't think. Do you remember it? Was it? Was it like this or something like this? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if we told you, we'd have to kill you. So yeah. uh, just interpret it how you wish. Feel really <laughs> um, yeah. I'm you actually. I'm gonna thing. take a bathroom break. I think right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Have a cry. I'm gonna cry. Just a sob, a hard sob in the bathroom. Now that I don't, don't know the handshake. This is a film about science. It's about hope. It's about people trying to work together to solve problems, and it's also about revering and honoring, respecting and loving nature. Chung says. I was pretty impressed with uh, Glenn's one foot save. The strongest ankle. Uh, the strongest the ankle the in all of cinema. Uh, if you haven't seen the film, wait till you see this guy's left ankle. Never skip ankle day. It's unbelievable. I would say. It's crazy. <laughs> Save the whole town. That shit really ankles. was crazy, bro. <laughs> An ankle just slides into the shit. And along the way, the cast not only made appearances during interviews talking about the film, but also appeared during interview games like Hot Ones. Do your best SpongeBob impression or eat a death one. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, no. That was that. But do SpongeBob this time. With the <laughs> Your dick. <laughs> he goes. It's clear towards the end that she had more of a rough time than he did. Can I get a little SpongeBob SquarePants real quick? Mm, never again. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's like, oh my god. Has anyone died from it before? Has anyone died from it? Yeah. Some... Surely. There was one guy. Really? Yeah. What happened? Anthony Hopkins. They even decided to instead of just answering questions, have Powell make a putt, and if he loses, eat a death wing, as they like to call it. Is this a trick hole? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're so shitty, sure golf. You call this golf? Oh! Yes! No! Yes! For their next game, the main cast sit down and plays Name That 90s Movie, where they have to guess from a blurred video what movie it is. Action, adventure, fantasy. The memorable library disaster scene was done in only one take, starring Brendan Fraser, Rachel Weisz. The Mummy. Oh. Ah, that was the one I was gonna get! <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> 
Yo, I'm so glad I got one. My one dog. chance! <laughs> Real quick, make sure you guys check out our Instagram page, linked down in the description. There's a ton of interview moments and memes, so make sure you check it out and give us a follow. My niece and nephew call me Uncle Boom Boom. <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Boom Boom. Uncle Boom Boom. Nice spazzle nice. nice. brush. About what? That's <laughs> all in the back. Boom Boom. What is that? What's it's a, it's a it's a pup, it's a fox puppet. I think I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> boom Boom. And it's like sort of our outline that sort of the final shot of Marin and Connell sat on the floor. I've seen that tattooed on someone. Where was the tattoo? I think it was an arm. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And for this one. Glenn and Daisy seem to be tied with each other. They brought Lee Isaac Chung on board. Daisy and I got to chemistry read together. She told me it was instantaneous the way she felt about me. Uh, in that. <laughs> I'm, I'm from London, so my, <laughs> my experience of weather is like all the trains are shut down if like there's like a light sprinkle of snow. We have even got to see a glimpse of what it was like having to soak the actors as per the environment they are supposed to be in is wet and a little bit destructive. So as you can see, I can see everything changing right now. Yeah, no, Glenn? Just, just how many people are making me cold and wet right now? Can you can you explain your process right now? Like, what are your thoughts? Uh, I actually try not to act when I come onto the set. Yeah. I just try to get as wet as humanly possible. And yeah. that take care of all the acting. Yeah. The wetter you are, the more talented you are. It's Everybody true. knows that. This is a story about the weather and a standalone sequel to 1996's Twister, but it is also about a boy and a girl. Katie is really into tornadoes, specifically how to stop them. You just need to feed them polymers. Describe your male co-stars in one word. Glenn Powell, Texas. Oh, so <laughs> sorry, Glenn. Glenn Powell, sexy. Paul Meskel, Irish. No, Paul Meskel, cool. Oh no, he's a dweeb, sorry. He will, he, he, and he'll know that. Paul Meskel, um, real. Jacob Elordi, Swan. Acting as a standalone follow-up to Twister, Twisters stars Glenn Powell and Daisy Edgar-Jones as a pair of storm chasers who risk their lives to test an experimental new weather alert system. Like James Cameron's Aliens, Twisters has pluralized the first movie's title to promise bigger and bolder action sequences. And action, but this was like... We know, brain to brain. And it was like, oh my God. Yeah. And the sound of those fans, like they are so loud. So loud. And you are shouting over them and like, you know, too, they're yeah. powerful. We had an actual jet engine fan at one point uh, that could move like entire tables and Incredible. chairs and Glenn got hit by a dresser. <laughs> DeBond, the director of Twister in 1996, recalled the last time Warner Brothers reached out to him about a potential Twister sequel. We only spoke about it about 15 years ago, he revealed. Wow, you'd be you'd be great then. Wow. Thank you. That would actually be really yeah. fun. I'm too American for Harry Potter, you know. <laughs> it's too southern. They don't allow me into Hogwarts. Maybe we could do like a Texan coming into Hogwarts for the first time. Yeah. Like a rowdy Texan. They just you don't see that enough running through the wall. <laughs> Warner Brothers could see the potential, but they were very afraid of the cost. So this recent one, I'm not involved in at all. I only found out about it after I saw the trailers on TV. You're more slippery than a pocket full of pudding. Don't say that to your mom. Look me in the eyes, you're more slippery than a pocket full of pudding. You're, you're, you're sneaky. You're, you're, you're yeah, sneaky. Yeah, you are more yeah. slippery than a pocket full of pudding. You're, you're, you're up to no sweaty. good. You're a sweaty man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Were you saying that to me or were you guessing? Although a direct sequel was denied, fans still have hope that we could still get one in the future. Whether or not that eventually comes into fruition, well, we will just have to be patient and watch out for any signs in the future. Oh, for the love of thank you. Yes. <laughs> Guys, I'm just gonna uh, take my hands mm. off to adjust myself. Thank you. Aye. Daisy's cheating, Daisy's cheating, Daisy's cheating. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have worn a tiny bra. Oh, buddy. Hey, Brandon. Where yeah. are my hands? It was just here. Oh, right? my GoPro's falling. <laughs> my GoPro <laughs> fell. That's a very uh, athletic cast. There's no way they could do this with the cast of Oppenheimer. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, in 1993, Glenn Powell starred in Spy Kids 3, Game Over as Long Finger Boy. What's the, what's the line? This building's not built to withstand what's coming. I said, said no one. No <laughs> one in life would say this building is not built to withstand what's coming. Who says that? Nobody. I mean, you sold the hell out of it. I was very impressed, but it Man, took us a few times. said takes. I don't take things seriously, right? Took that seriously. But we wanted to turn this around to you guys. What do you think about all this? And are you excited to see this film? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys. Genres are action, adventure, thriller, based on a 1960s TV show of the same name, 
And this was the first of the franchise. Uh, Mission Impossible. Dang. Nice. At least Tom's gonna be happy. <laughs> At least Tom's happy. <laughs> Let's get a coconut bun cake. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>